Thank you for joining us. This is Tidbits number 19 and uh, we are talking about roads. Can you give me the name of the longest road in the world? Incidentally, this is Pan American Highway. It begins somewhere in Alaska and through Canada, US, Mexico. Finally, it reaches Central America, covering more than 30,500 kilometers. Can you imagine? And what about India? Look at the map of India. At the top of the map, there is Jammu and Kashmir. And at the bottom, there is Kanyakumari. So there is a highway, that is highway number 44. It begins from Srinagar and through the heart of India. It reaches Kanyakumari, covering a length of almost 3,745 kilometers. Why am I talking about roads this way? It is because every day roads are becoming more and more important. The growth of civilization has something to do with roads from the ancient time to our time. We have seen different types of roads and different names also. All names are somehow different in meaning also. So let's begin with the road itself, that umbrella term. Road is a wide way made with hard surface connecting one point of place with another for flow of traffic. This is the main purpose, flow of traffic. So road is made for that so that you can have a conveyance. You can drive your car, you can walk down, you can drive your cattle. So many needs are there. And a wide way made with hard surface. It was not hard before. Mud built roads were not hard, but today it is hard because requirement is there. Now, connecting one point of place with another, this is the main purpose. But this same thing has different name. A road is not a street and a street is again not an avenue. There may be certain differences. We will try to see those things. Very close to road comes another name that is roadway. Roadway, what is the speciality? A road or part of it used by vehicles. So this is specially meant for vehicles, cars and wagons that is driven by motor power. So this is what is roadways. Human being cannot walk there or you cannot drive cattle there. It is specially meant for driving cars and wagons. Now, next one, highway. What is the speciality of a highway? A long distance main road, usually connecting large towns or two parts of a country. We have already given you an example. Highway number 44 from Kashmir that is Srinagar to Kanyakumari and it goes through so many states in the country. So this is exactly what is highway. Highway goes beyond a particular state. This is the speciality of a highway. Then street. Very simple thing. You have seen so many streets. A street is a road but with a difference. A road in a city or town it is within the city. It doesn't go beyond the city. So a road in a city or town with houses and shops on one side or both sides. Park Street, for example. What is the speciality then? Within a city and on both sides or maybe one side also, it has shops, commercial establishments and houses for human habitation. This is special about streets. And a road may not have that. It goes through the countryside or wide field, through woods. It can be a road, but without human habitation, it cannot be a street. This is something very special. Then expressway, freeway, throughway. 
all these are very new because we are very busy people. We are always in a hurry. So this type of roads are necessary. Wide road with at least two lanes in each direction for fast traffic flow between two large towns. New York straight throughway example. So what do we get? This is specially made so that there is no disturbance in the flow of traffic. There must be four lanes, two on the left hand side and two on the right hand side so that traffic is not disturbed. You can reach in time. So that is very much important thing. So expressway, freeway and throughway, you see the names. The names show that these are less interrupted way for traffic. Now, avenue and boulevard, both things mean almost the same thing. A straight wide street with trees on both sides, a boon for a crowded city. A boulevard or say an avenue is a street within a city that has trees on both sides. That means Circus Avenue. Sunset Boulevard, you will find it in Paris. There are many boulevards. Now come to thoroughfare, a main road or street in a city or town. So, so thoroughfare is the main road of a city without which the life of the entire city will collapse. That is thoroughfare. Now path, pavement, footpath, walk, sidewalk, all these names actually refer to the way or the path for human use. You can walk there. So path is perhaps the most ancient. In those days there was no provision. Naturally our people used to walk and uh, after so much of footfalls a mark used to come up on the surface of the ground and people used that particular path to reach other places. So that is path. But pavement, path is not a paved way, but pavement is a paved way. It is specially made for walking. That is pavement on both sides of a road. That is pavement. Then put path, walk. These are almost the same things, but walk. This walk is now near. When we use walk, ordinarily it means a verb, but it is walk means the path, which is used for walk. That is walk. Now sidewalk, the same thing. These are made for human use. That is a way or track that is made for walking or by the action of walking. Or if you walk on a particular way, particular direction, there will be a path coming up automatically, naturally. That is what is meant by the action of walking. And there are several other names also. And say roadway, drive, arterial highway, row, lane, bypass, etc. So I think this will help you understand types of roads because characteristics are discussed here. So I think uh, it's time I said goodbye.